to my channel if you are new here thank you all so much guys for all of your comments it really means a lot me and so blessed i'm so so blessed to have you guys and thank you all so much so yes i'm just going to give you readings like this in my casual way see i have my drinks here so please do grab yours and join me guys today's reading is going to be a very very long reading i'm going to go in depth with your situation as far as today people have asked me to do a longer reading so i thought of giving you a deep and a long insight into your situation and i'm very grateful to uh, give you readings and to actually help you out with your situation so yes guys uh, grab your snacks grab your drinks and let us start we i have the fortune cookie cards here so i will be picking out cards from this deck and also the tarot deck from the right away tarot deck so today we have the waning gibas moon in pisces which might make you feel very very sensitive you might be feeling very insecure about yourselves but do not worry guys this insecurity will end because again we're stepping into the taurus after this uh, pisces is going to end so do not worry the energy will pass out we have the wisdom card to focus on the past is to lose the future heed advice from your older person which will allow you to move on it's time for you to let go of any kind of past issues any kind of past arguments com i mean anything that complications anything that was negative it's time for you to let that go and to step into a positive atmosphere because the wisdom card is here so time for you to also seek guidance from the people who are older to you who do have a lot of experience uh, let me pick out a few more cards guys we have challenges take time out from problems or conflicts approach softly to avoid making matters worse it's time for you to jump into the next phase of your life in a sense some of you might not be very happy or might not be getting into anything that uh, makes you feel bad or that makes you feel irritated so it's time for you to move out of your conflicts it's time for you to uh, challenge yourselves in certain situations you feel like uh, you need that people around you so make sure to avoid conflicts take things in a very smooth and a soft way because this will really help you in your life is what i can say here let me pick out a few more cards guys for your general energies we have love love is in the air a great time for commitment and taking relationship to the next level that is beautiful it's time for you to make commitments it's time for you to take the relationships to the next level it's time for you to come out of all the negativity that you've had ever since and kind of stepping into that positive side so it's all about being a positive person being a greater version of yourself and leaving out anything that is negative and focusing on the positive sides and also guys with a painting keep us moon in pisces it's time for you to actually step away from any kind of insecurities that you might be having and change it a little bit and make it into something positive also you will be benefiting from the a creative side that the pisces has the imagination can run wild for you and for you person which can make this person uh, miss you much and come towards you especially if you guys are in a separation state we have friendship here friend needs your help your kindness excellent counseling skills will put them back on track so i also see that you're not only helping yourselves and becoming a greater version of yourselves today some of you might also help the people around you as for example you're helping your friends and showing them a lot of kindness helping them with the counseling them to bring out the best within themselves helping them in many ways and that is totally beautiful guys. 
guys. You guys are growing and that is nice. The Pisces energy also makes you uh, deeply connect with your spiritual self. You are understanding yourself more spiritually. You are becoming a mature person. That is beautiful. Now let us move on to your love energies, guys. Hi, my lovely Libras. Thank you so much for joining me here, guys. This is going to be your love reading, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, and watches. And also, if you are a cross watcher, this reading will resonate for you too. Let us just begin with the reading, Libra. What is coming up for your love energy Libras? Hi priestess, so you've become a very very um, intuitive person. You know who to trust, you know who to let go of. I mean you've chosen to grow so much spiritually higher and we have the Hierophant so you guys are like the high priestess and the hierophant you guys really literally guys i see that the life story that you both share is very similar like whatever you went through in your life the similar thing is happening for this person and they're growing spiritually higher you're growing spiritually higher does this call for a soulmate twin flame union reunion i really see that uh, you guys are going to have a union with each other you're going to connect deeper with each other that love that connection is definitely there with you guys let me pick out a few more cards for you guys we have the seven of wands which means that this person is not putting any effort the very scared of the intensity of this relationship. I also see here that they might have cheated you because of the scared, because of the fear that they're having towards the relationship that they have with you. Guys, uh, Libras, this connection that you share with this person is very, very deep. I have to mention this because the relationship goes way deeper. This person and you connect um, on every level, spiritually, mentally, intellectually, psychologically, physically. I mean, there is a lot of connection in various points which makes this relationship very intense for this person to kind of like um, make a progress towards you because it's scaring them. The intensity of this relationship is too much that this person is getting scared. They do not know what to do, right? Let me pick out a few more cards for you guys to find out what else is coming up. We have the three of... So this person is trying to distract themselves from this intensity of this connection. So they want to distract and that is why they are going into that third party relationship. Certain people might have jumped into a third party because they are feeling very very... Um, scared of this relationship that you guys share and also with the with their friends they're kind of drinking partying they're trying to do whatever they have to to separate from you because the connection that they have with you is very intense and they do not want an intense connection because it's scaring them and you're here waiting for this love, waiting for this connection, growing financially, growing spiritually. I see here that you do not expect anything materialistic from this person. You do not want their money, you do not want their lifestyle, or you do not want anything materialistic from them. You're just sitting there like the Queen of Cups. You're like the Queen of Cups, sitting there waiting for this person to express their love to you you just want just their love you don't want anything from them that's beautiful uh, Libra. that is what i can see here this intensity of the connection is carrying them and if you see this person leaving someone else if you see this person doing some other activities just because this intensity is carrying them they are trying to go about to enjoy life because they are very much scared that this relationship is going to take them right so 
that is what I can say here guys. Thank you all so much for joining here. See you all tomorrow. Bye.